might just introduce you to uh, Brad, who's, who's next to me here. Brad is an Indigenous Olympian. He's one of our Aboriginal um, athletes, a boxer here um, uh, through the Australian Olympic Committee. Oh, thank you. It's a great honor to, to, to welcome you here with us today. Thank you. Okay, so at our end, um, Anne, Brad is going to facilitate some conversation with you and we might ask you some questions about your uh, wonderful museum. And um, so I'm going to hand over to Brad now and he's going to introduce you to Marama uh, and our Marama youth. Hi Anne, how are you? Hello, fine, and uh, very happy uh, to, to welcome you here in Switzerland, in Lausanne, and more pretty museum. As you can see behind us, we've got a big mob of students that we've got with us. It's an Indigenous Youth Summit that we're having here, and these kids have been doing an amazing job uh, teaching uh, non-Indigenous students um, a bit more about our culture. Yeah, that's great. It's a great honor for us to, to welcome you here today. Uh, and uh, we would have liked to, to welcome you in front of the building, but you know, it's uh, winter time and it's a little bit cold. So we decided really to, uh, to have a little chat with you inside the building. We are here in one of the main rooms of the Olympic Museum, the permanent exhibition. And we are going to, to, to have a little conversation with you here uh, tonight, uh, today or tonight. Yeah, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning. The museum is closed, but we are going to welcome our visitors in an hour, more or less. Okay, awesome. Well, I have three um, students here with me that um, have been doing an amazing job, and they, they all want to ask you guys um, a question. Can you tell us about the Olympic Museum and what it's for? Yeah, so the Olympic Museum, uh, its mission is of course to tell the story of the Olympic Games uh, from the, the origin in the ancient Greece uh, uh, up to now. But also it is uh, our mission to tell the, the story of the uh, individual athletes, of uh, uh, the different athletes coming from the five continents and uh, that are present during the Games. So it's very important to tell their stories and uh, to understand through their uh, testimonies, to understand a little bit better what's going on in the world. Awesome, great. Um, so we have, I have Benjamin on my right, which is your left, um, and he's got a question for you as well. What information do you have in the museum about Australia? Yeah, so I'm going to give the floor to my uh, team and they have prepared a lot of material to tell you the story of uh, Aboriginal people here at the Olympic Museum and also to tell you uh, different uh, uh, um, uh, stories coming from uh, other people, First Nations in Canada for instance, but we of course we are going to focus on Australia and uh, uh, on uh, Cathy Freeman. Uh, we are now in uh, 2019, 19 years ago, we had we welcomed the, the, the Games of Sydney, and it was a very important edition of the Games because uh, I think uh, Cathy Freeman was a great ambassador of, of Aboriginal people, and we try to um, to connect our visitors with uh, her story, and it helped us uh, to, uh, to to reveal stories about your country and uh, the culture of Aboriginal people. And uh, Cathy Freeman is definitely a great example for us. I will give the floor to my colleague and they will give you some examples of how we present uh, this part of the, uh, of the story of the Games to our visitors. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Julia. Um, I will present you the objects uh, we are having for Melbourne uh, 56 and Sydney 2000 show the medals, uh, the set of three medals uh, that are presented downstairs in the museum and especially for this morning or evening and yours we took the torches from Melbourne which is here from the torches collection which is normally on first floor so you can take a closer look if you want on this torch from Melbourne and the other one from Sydney for sure 
And uh, this is uh, a torch we like to show also to our students and school classes because it's a very nice example how the visual identity of the games and the design is related to uh, culture, history of the host country and host city. So, do we have any other objects on the scene that you can present to us? Maybe the prop over there? Indeed, uh, in fact, we don't only have uh, medals or torches just like Julia will show you. We also have, uh, in a temporary exhibition just here, a rallying crop belonging uh, to uh, William Wolcroft, who was an equestrian um, in the Rome Games, 1960. And uh, in fact, this is a great example for us because he gets injured during the competition, in the individual competition, and he falls down from his horse and he went to the hospital. On the next day, it was the team event, and uh, his team was not able to compete without him. So he left the hospital and uh, gets uh, on site to compete, and thanks to him, the Australian team uh, won the gold medal. So, this is something very interesting. Do you have perhaps a few more to present this Yes, yes well, uh, concerning the agreement, we are uh, just uh, picture uh, over here for you that you have a nice little background and for sure we are presenting her shoes especially to the school groups when they are coming here so you can also take a closer look they are so in the permanent uh, exhibition and we like to present Kathy Freeman especially to our school groups when uh, we are talking about the Olympic events because it's a very important topic uh, during our uh, educational programs and so we need um, really inspiring stories about athletes and Kathy is really one uh, we like to talk about because her story really shows us how sports and Olympism can really influence the people can become closer together or building bridges in general. Hi, I'm Bella. Um, I just have this one question for you. Um, can you share any stories about uh, Olympic athletes? Yes, so um, in general, as I told you, we uh, like to mention Cassie Freeman uh, concerning our educational programs. We have uh, one workshop that is called All Different All Winners, where we talk about citizenship, about uh, how Olympic values can maybe influence our daily life. And so we like really to take stories from athletes to show really concrete examples. And Cassie Freeman is really a very good example because the three values, excellence, you know, uh, friendship, respect, this is really what she's uh, showing uh, to us us and also to the, to the kids um, because of all what she did uh, to bring together the Aboriginal people and the Australian people, um, how she symbolized really this coming together more closely during the games with the Aboriginal flag she was carrying. The shoes you just saw before in the colors of the original uh, Aboriginal flag. So this is something really we can use to underline um, how the Olympic venues are really lived and shown concretely during uh, one edition of the games. One more question that I'm going to make up for you guys, and I need you guys to tell me the truth. Sydney Olympics was the best Olympics ever. Is that right? Yes. Thank you. Do you have any questions for our students here or anyone? I would like to know, um, because um, you are together for a, a certain time, what do you talk about? Because maybe it can inspire us for uh, our students and educational programs, uh, the topics we can maybe mention. Um, I would like to know that. We've been learning um, about our indigenous culture. We did a dance uh, and a workshop for primary school kids just to teach them a bit about um, our culture. Oh, that's perfect. So you went to schools to teach the kids? Uh, we did. Yes, great. That's, that's a good thing to do. Perfect. These previous uh, group of students here have, um, have learned heaps about their culture and where they're from and their identity and they've passed it on to non-Indigenous um, mm -hmm. Australians so then they can learn more about our culture yes. and how powerful that we are when we all come together. This was very nice uh, information for me. I will keep this in mind when we discuss with the school classes about uh, Cassie Freeman.
I just would like to add because I'm curious and uh, uh, I'm interested in uh, in your experience in the in other schools and uh, the way you 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 spoke about uh, these games and the Aboriginal people at the games. Uh, do you think it's possible you you send us uh, a little bit? Uh, what you you did with your uh, with the other children? Uh, if you prepared some material, do you have some images? Do you have some contents that you could share with us? It could be great maybe to, to present this material here at the Olympic Museum in our educational uh, area. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. We've got um, these students have been doing amazing dances. We all our um, younger group came from Cairns. Um, and we've taped everything from today and the whole week so we can pass it on to you guys and it would be uh, much appreciated if you could share that over in Switzerland. Next year we would celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Sydney Games and uh, of course uh, the presence of Cathy Freeman. So uh, it will be a great celebration and uh, if we can have this material and maybe to, to keep in touch with you, it will be with, a, with great pleasure to share this experience with, uh, with you and uh, to include you in the, uh, in the Olympic Museum as well. We are exactly 2k away from Sydney Olympic Stadium and probably about a k walk from the Athletes Village. So, um, you know, we're on home soil right here now, so we can send you some stuff and we'll love it if it's over there. These kids will enjoy it so much, so thank you. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you very much. Do you have other questions? Just make sure you tell everyone that Sydney was the best games ever and it always will be. <laughs> and. Um, and we're going to make it and, and hopefully we get the bid for Brisbane in, in 2032. Okay, so we won't forget uh, the message, but for sure we, we, we don't forget uh, in our memory. It was a great addition, not only for uh, also for the, the inclusion of uh, Aboriginal people, but also for uh, the awareness regarding the environment. It was really a, a great addition and it raised uh, our awareness about the environment, about sustainability, and it had an impact on the other editions of the Games. So thank you very much for this experience. We are very excited to, to have your, uh, your group here at the Olympic Museum thanks to technology. And together with a part of my team, we would like to wish you a very good night and we hope to keep in touch with you in the future. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.